It is called gas station heroin. You can find it on store shelves across the country disguised as an herbal supplement. For roughly 30 bucks and a trip to your local gas station, some people are finding a drug as addictive as opioids and far easier to get, prompting several states to ban it so far as more and more people are getting hooked. Our Dre Clark is tracking this story. It's marketed as a dietary supplement, a little something to help you relax and de-stress. But for many people, it's a lot more than that. It's called Tia Neptine or gas station heroin. You can buy it online or at your neighborhood convenience store. And as the name suggests, gas station heroin is easy to get, highly addictive, and in some cases, it can be deadly. Gas station heroin is its street name. And that's one of the places you'll find it, at gas stations, convenience stores, and online. But just because it's easy to get doesn't mean it's safe to use, because among the ingredients in these so-called dietary supplements is tianeptine, a drug the FDA warns is harmful and addictive. We can say that it's dangerous for people to be taking, um, and so far that there's absolutely no um, understanding of the dosage. It's you know, not approved for any medical use. In powder or tablet form, tianeptine is used to treat depression in some European, Latin American, and Asian countries. But here in the U.S., tianeptine is unapproved for medical use. But that's not stopping people from using it illegally, marketed as a dietary supplement. Products containing tianeptine are sold under names like Zaza Red, Pegasus, TD Red, and Tiana. The capsules come in bright colored bottles with ads claiming it helps improve brain function and treats anxiety, depression, pain, and opioid use disorder. But the claims are dangerous, unproven, and according to the FDA, the products are linked to hundreds of overdoses and even deaths. News Nation spoke to many self-proclaimed users of Tia Neptine who did not want to go on camera, but had this to say about Tia. You have to dose every four hours, one person says, to prevent withdrawal once you're hooked. That's five or six bottles a day. It's easily a $150 a day habit. I couldn't believe how much it resembled opiates. The anxiety was excruciating, getting off Tia. I've taken 75 Pegasus pills some days, this one on for four years. Another person saying, I used to have a six to nine bottle a day habit. And that's how the nightmare of Tia Neptune addiction begins. Users who in many cases sought a way to wean themselves off opioids, instead finding a new high in an over-the-counter substance. But users say the effects wear off after only a couple of hours, leaving them chasing the same euphoria and popping more and more pills. It's a vicious and costly cycle. Some Tia Neptune users admit spending up to $200 a day on the product. One person we talked to saying he spent $2,000 a month sacrificing food for his family to buy more Zaza Red before finally quitting cold turkey, resulting in extremely painful opioid-like withdrawal symptoms lasting several days. Many people who do become addicted are exper what they're experiencing what they describe as extremely painful opioid-like withdrawals. They are saying the TNF2 withdrawal is actually um, as bad as, if not worse, than some of the opioids they've tried. Prompting some states to crack down on these products. So far, the drug is banned in Michigan, Alabama, Minnesota, Tennessee, Georgia, and Indiana and Ohio. And just this week, Mississippi became the latest state to ban Tia Neptune, making it a controlled substance with the fine of up to 30 years in prison. According to Consumer Reports, Tia Neptune related calls to poison control centers have skyrocketed over the last few years, nearly 900 since 2015 up from just 27 the entire decade before. But officials say the numbers are likely much higher because many drug overdoses go unreported. The FDA issued this statement saying in part, the FDA is committed to doing everything within its resources and authorities to identify and remove unsafe and illegal dietary supplements from the market. 
However, the FDA currently has no systematic way of knowing what dietary supplements are on the market when new products are introduced or what they contain, even if they contain ingredients we have previously acted against. And that's really the biggest problem. The FDA admits to not having any real way of knowing what dietary supplements are on the market or what's inside them, allowing makers of these products to line store shelves with these unregulated substances and also allowing them to get into the hands of anyone, young or old, as long as they have 30 bucks. Natasha? Yeah, it's a fascinating story. We thank Dre Clark for that report. And we do want to mention, if you need help with addiction, you can find licensed providers at www.findtreatment.gov. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.